or you call it close ta. How many kinds of ta are there, brother? Huh? I will write down here. Open. What is this called? Open ta. Huh? And what is this called? Close ta. Huh? Or you can say circle. Okay? In Arabic, this is called ta marbuta. What is it called? Ta marbuta. We will inshallah memorize it slowly, slowly. But for the sake of ease, let us call it open and close. Hmm? Open ta and close ta. Any noun that ends with close ta, 99.9% it is muannas. What is it? Muannas. It is muannas. Family. <laughs> Any ta. And you can make a noun from masculine to muannas most of the time by just adding the ta marbuta close ta. You make it muannas. Huh? Is it clear? We will do a lot of exercises inshallah. Okay. So, sa'atu, if the noun is sa'atu, tell me, is it masculine or feminine? feminine. It is feminine. Why? Shana. You saw that little close star there. Yeah, very good. And that is why, the, in answer up to that question, you used here. You used oneness. I should keep the watch so that I can watch the time. You know? Okay. هذا كلام هذه سات we change هذه we are going to learn inshallah i'm not going to go into that hadhi business now later on we'll go inshallah okay ajib answer an al as'ilat al atiyati answer the following question brother we will answer the question from the text of the book are you with me we will answer from the text of the book Ain al kitabu. Where is the book? What will be your answer? Huwa al al maktabi. Now translate. It is on the desk. Now, I don't want to analyze everything, but once you know the analysis, you know it is Mubtada and Khaba. Huh? Are you with me, brother? Muhammad? It is Mubtada. Huwa Mubtada al al maktabi. Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Jarun Majur, fine. Aina Muhammadun. Hua Fil Ghurfati. Now you got to write all these things, eh, brother? You got to write all these things. When you will write, you will become strong. Huh? Huh? Brother, no pain, no gain. Huh? No pain, no gain, brother. Without, without hard work, no fruits. Okay? So you have to work hard. And I must remind you, we are in intensive course. It means like going to a college for six months. And in six months you work hard. You, are, you master that course and you get a diploma. And we are going to work hard just like that. And inshallah finish the course. Fine. What is the next question? And I'm not checking your homework, brother. You will check yourself. Also, we have a, you know, we have a special books like called Hallo Tamarin, solution to the exercise. You don't have it? You, you can buy. Huh? There are three books for five dollars. Okay? And that has got all the answers to these exercises. Okay, but do not go to that hello tamarin first <laughs> and write it. That will defeat the purpose. Yeah, and you know, yes, brother, father. Do you have English translation? Uh, brother, no. English tra translation, we will do it in the class and you will write down. Huh? Okay. Now, the point is this, brothers and sisters. After a great deal of hard work on the part of Dr. Abdurrahim huh, and on our part, to request him, to push him, 
to pester him. Doctor said, we need hello tamarin. We need hello tamarin. We live in Canada. We don't have time. Huh? And even teacher doesn't have time to check each and every homework. So finally, Dr. Abdurrahim wrote the answers to all the tamarin. And we have it. Huh? Inshallah, after the class, or tomorrow, inshallah, uh, I will bring and keep it here. And Brother Muhammad, inshallah, you will give them. Huh? It's, it's essential. It will help you. Three books completes everything. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, Aina Satu. Here. Alassariri. Where is the watch? It's on the bed. Huh? Now I'm not analyzing, brother. Now it is understood, you know it. Okay? Aina Yasirun. Huwa fil hammam. You will memorize it slowly, slowly. Hammam is also Urdu word. Not Urdu word, Arabic word, but borrowed from uh, Urdu, borrowed it. Yeah, Hamma. Bathroom. Huh? Bathroom. Huh? Okay. Where you take shower, brother. Okay. Shower room, you can say. Okay, brother. Aina Amina tu. Hiya. Amina. Mornas. Hiya. Filmat I told you, biryani is being cooked for us. Aina. <laughs> Aminatu, hiya, fil matbakhi. She is in the kitchen. Very good. Now comes question. Look at it, brother. Hamza came in the beginning. Aminatu fil ghurfati? La. Aminatu fil ghurfati? Is Amina in the room? La. Where is she? Hiya, fil matbakhi. It's easy, brother. Hiya, fil she is not in the room. She is in the kitchen. Okay, brother. A yasirun fil matbakhi? La. Huwa fil hammami. Huwa fil hammami. Okay. Are you, brother Farooq, do you follow the, yeah, inshallah. Uh, you, it will be better if, if you have any problem, write it in English with a small writing on the book, inshallah. Okay, brother. Huwa fil hammami. Okay. Man fil ghurfati. See, man has come. Who is in the room? Muhammadun fil ghurfati. Muhammadun fil ghurfati. Muhammad is in the room. Fine, brother and sister. Wa man fil hammami. Wa man fil hammami. And who is in the shower room? Yasirun fil hammami. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, you'll be able to do it. Huh? You'll be able to do it, inshallah. Fine, brothers and sisters. Maza alal matabi. What is on the desk? Maza alal matabi. What is on the desk? What is on the desk, brother? Al kitabu alal matabi. Al kitabu muftada. Alal maktabi jarun wa majrurun shibbu jumla khaba. Got the idea? Inshallah. Very good. Maza ala sariri. What is on the bed? Asaatu. Asaatu. Ala sariri. Asaatu muftada. Ala sariri jarun wa majrurun shibbu jumla khaba. Got the idea? Now, ikra waktu. Ma dapti awakhir al kalimati. By putting the proper vowel signs at the end of the word. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, remember our knowledge. Why did we take trouble to learn marfu, mansub, majroor? Now you will use it. Huh? You will figure out. When the noun becomes majroor. Huh? When I say dun, it's marfu. When I say dun, it's mansub. When I say din, it's majroor. When I say dun, 
it's marfu when i say dan it's mansub when i say din it's majrur therefore dun dun dan dan din din 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 one more time when i say dun it's marfu when i say dan it's mansub when i say din it's majrur therefore dun dun dan dan din din 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 now start the first word al madra sa tu ha brother why tu and not ti because noun it in its natural form are you with me will always be marfu ha noun in its natural form is always marfu okay it will become majrur if something comes in preposition come or something else comes in the sentence okay next one brothers and sisters fill pathi now you know t why do you do that brother hasan because harf jar came that made it majrur ha huh? got the idea brother next one brother fill by t you will be writing it ha huh? properly okay and then brother al bai to mashallah al ghurfa to very good al hamma mu fil matbakh khi al matta bu ala al matta bi ala al kursi yi ha not kursi you ala al kursi yi yeah as sari ru ala al kita bi on the book fil masji di got the idea brothers and sisters now tell me is it difficult no 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 i want to hear from you that it is not difficult <laughs> inshallah and allah will make it more easy for us brother inshallah okay now you you got the idea ha huh? okay brothers and sisters ikra waqtub read and write so you will read loudly i request you to read loudly at home all the lessons because that way zaban mein rawani aayegi your tongue will get used to pronouncing arabic sentences arabic words because we are not used to this is a, a new thing for us you know okay What is the first sentence, brother? How will you start the first sentence, Sir Abir? Aktalibu, mashallah. What? Jami, jamia, ti. See, we cannot make it two. No more. We know fi has come, has to be majrur. Huh? What is the meaning of it, sister? The student is in the class. In the university. jamia to don't worry if you make a mistakes brother huh don't worry huh if you make a mistake the world is not going to stop huh it will still go on huh? okay attalibu mubtada where is the khabar fil jamiati what is fil jamiati jarun wa majrurun shibu jumla khabar got the idea alhamdulillah next one brother ar rajulu fil masjid translate brother the man is in the masjid the man is in the masjid same way you can analyze it if you want to but you know it brother aina tajiru where is the merchant 
who are fit dukani uh, he is in the shop, shop. mashallah so where is muftada huwa and then fit dukani jar majrur shibu jumla khabar inshallah al kalamu al kalamu al al maktabi al kalamu al al maktabi very good brother al kalamu al al maktabi same way, everything same. Aina Zainabu. Now Zainabu is a mornas. Huh? Aina Zainabu. Here. Fil Gurfati. See, can you imagine? No vowel signs. Dr. Abdurrahim thinks you have become expert. No need to put vowel signs. But Alhamdulillah, we can manage it. We know when the noun is marfu and when it becomes Majroor. Huh? Fine, brother. Aina Zainabu? Hiya Fil Gurfati. So hiya Mubtada Fil Gurfati Khabar. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Jar Majroor. Aina Al Waraku. Where is the paper? Huwa Al Al Maktabi. It is on the desk. Okay. Aina Al Mudarrisu. Where is the teacher? Huwa Fil Fasli. He is in the Classroom. Got the idea? Who am of the Where is Khabar? Fell fastly. Jar Majur. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Inshallah. Inshallah. Aina Yasiru. Who are Phil? Mirhadi. But the Hammam is a shower room and Mirhadi is a toilet. Who are Phil? Mirhadi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. This is very beautiful, brother. Ashamsu wal kamaru fis samai. The sun and the moon, they are in the sky, are in the sky. Okay. Brother, I'm, 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 I, I want, I'm tempted to give you a heavy dose. Huh? But if you don't understand, you, you will not worry, and I will be explaining it. You know, you know we said wow, what is wow? Ataf. Wow is harfu ataf. Harfu atafin. Huh? Write down if you want to. Al wow, last time I wrote, brother. Harfu atafin. Huh? Harfu atafin. Inshallah. Harfu huh? atfin. Harfu atfin, which is a conjunction. Okay, what is the job of harfu ataf? It connects two nouns. Huh? It connects two nouns. Huh? So, if I were to analyze this sentence, ashamsu, what is ashamsu? That I know. Oh, it's, uh, and then and what is wow? Conjunction. Harfu uh, atf. Harf. Ataf. You can say, uh, Mother Samad, you can say ataf. Huh? But then what is kamar? What shall I tell kamar? It is also muptada. Huh? Huh? But we call it something else. Huh? This is what the tough thing I am. Huh? Would you want to write it, brothers and sisters? Huh? You will write down. Huh? Now, brother, this is very advanced Arabic. But because we are in intensive course, and because we will be practicing every day, inshallah, you will understand it. Al Kamaru, you will write down this, sir. Huh? Huh? 
Why? What did I write down, brother? Huh? I put it. Ma'atufun. Ma'atufun. Huh? Ala shamsi. Huh? Sister Salma? Ma'atufun. Huh? Ma'atu. This is ta. Ta. Is this from Ataf? Ataf ma'atuf. Huh? Ma'atufun ala shamsi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ma'atufun ala shamsi. What is the meaning of ma'atufun? Connected. Connected to the shams. You know, wow always connects. So it connected the kamar to the shams. So in other words, brother, if the shams is marfu and wow comes, the next word will also be marfu. Huh? Same thing. That is why a shamsu well, Kamaru. Why Kamaru is Marfu? Because it is connected with Shamsu. Huh? You know? Same thing. We will learn in lot of detail later on. I will explain you in detail. So as I said, if you are not 100% sure, do not worry. But I will be explaining you. But you know, since we are analyzing the sentence, and as Shamsu came, Mubtada. Wow, Ataf. Al-Kamaru. Ma'atufun ala shams. Connected. Ma'atufun ala shams. And where is the khabar, brother? Fis samai. Fine. Man fil fasli. There's only question mark. Who is in the classroom? Al mudaris fil fasli. But we don't have to say much, you know. Manful firstly. Brother, we end here. Huh? Inshallah, next thing we'll carry on. Brother, I request you to go through the uh, handouts huh? from the page one onwards huh? and this book. And if you have any question, you will call or you can ask me tomorrow and we'll go in detail, inshallah. And if there is a time tomorrow, I will start the verbs. Huh? I will start the verbs. And verbs, I will try to make them very interesting for you. I'll put lots of masala. And I'll put some red chilies. Huh? If you like, I'll, I'll put some chutney also in the verbs, you know, to make it delicious for you. <laughs> okay, brothers and sisters. Rabbana, atina fi dunya asanatam wa fil akhirati asanatam wa kina adabun naar. Rabbana, حبلنا من أزواجنا وزرياتنا كرة عين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا لا تواخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا تكتلنا به وفوانا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت تواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خير إن شاء الله Tomorrow we'll meet around 9.15, inshallah. You'll try to come if possible, inshallah. If you are late due to traffic, don't worry, brothers and sisters. You know? Inshallah. Jazakallah, brother.